everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. Today is Share a Sun Saturday and I am sharing my beautiful Jasper. This is the, oh, sorry, didn't have it up here in front of me. This is the Evelyn kit. Uh, it is a real born from Bountiful Babies. Um, he's five pounds, 13 ounces, so close to um, six pounds. He's 19 inches. He was born June of 2023 and painted by Michelle Benley from Blessing Reborn Dolls. I'll put that up there for you guys. Definitely check out her channel. Um, I got him and the Ever Kit through her. Both are reborn, uh, realborns. This was based off a of real baby. They do um, scans of a real baby, do a bunch of scans, and then they uh, sculpt out a baby that looks just like a real baby. Um, from the Bountiful Babies. They're known to do that. So I love this little guy and uh, we have nicknamed him JC because it's Jasper Craig. Craig after my uh, father who passed. Um, that was his middle name also. So we have a JC here. We nicknamed him JC and I love that because Jesus Christ too. But love that. Love this little guy. He's been a joy here and I'm going to go over and do a spotlight on him too and change him. But I'm also going to do a tag today. But we're going to start with God. Billy Graham, Wisdom for Each Day. So today we are on September 2nd, already into September. Under the spotlight, it's called. Search me, O Lord, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxieties, my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me. Psalms 139, 23 through 24. Have you ever stopped to think how difficult it must have been for David to pray, to pray this prayer? We don't know if he... Uh, penned these words before or after his terrible sin with Bathsheba, Bathsheba, I think it was Second Samuel eleven twelve. But either way, David, but either way, David knew he was capable of terrible sin, and that that often his. I'm sorry, you guys. That ring light blinded me, and that often his first impulse when he had sinned was to deny it or try to hide it from God to ask God to search out the darkest, most secret corners of our minds and hearts. Um, take, of, I'm sorry, corners of our minds and hearts take courage. And yet what happened if we weren't willing to do this? Then the sins we know about remain unconfessed and our fellowship with God remains cold and distant. Perhaps more important, the hidden sins we may not even realize we have, sins like pride, Suppressed anger, lack of love, jealousy, a secret yearning for reconciliation, remain firmly in place, manipulation, us and eventually destroying, or manipulation, us, manipulating us and eventually destroying us. Have the courage to pray this prayer and whatever God reveals, confess it, repent of it, and ask Christ to replace it with his purity and love. That's really good, you guys. You know, we all do... Uh, you know, terrible things in our life. We all live in glass houses. We all sin. Uh, some even willfully sin. We, we do things that are, you know, we know is a sin and we still do it willfully. Um, but, you know, we, we got to know and realize that we can't hide nothing from God. There's nothing we can hide from God. Unfortunately, God knows everything. Um, and uh, why he sent his son to, to die, because he knows that we are sinful by nature. We are just sinners. And so there's no reason to hide it, you know. You got to just realize that you are a sinner. Um, if you have your salvation, we're sinners saved by grace. Thank God for that. Uh, but we should be confessing our sins. And um, like it says here, have the courage to prayer the prayer. And whatever God reveals, confess it, repent of it, and ask Christ to replace it with his purity and love. You know, that's what we need to do. We need to try to be the best that we can each day, really working hard at the sins that we commit in our life to try not to commit them again. You know, to try not to do it and to try to realize what we did um, and have that conscience and once you pray, you know, to God, try not to do it again. But it, of course, there's some things in our life that we still do that we did before we had our salvation and we're trying to change things in our life and uh, stop doing those things. And, you know, um, that's all we can do is, is try our best, you know, and be reading his word all the time. It's important to be reading God's word because it'll help you with things like this. And it was difficult for David, you know, it says here um, that he, you know, he had terrible sins, we, you know, a sin is a sin in God's eyes. Even getting angry is a sin. So don't think that somebody else's sin is so much bigger than yours. 
Uh, we are all sinners, and we just need to remember that and know that we serve an almighty, merciful God that will forgive us because of the death of his son. Once his son died on that cross, our sins were forgiven. So if, if we believe that and we live our life right, get our salvation, um, our sins are forgiven, but we need to ask God and Jesus every day to forgive us on a daily basis for the things that we do wrong. And if we can't remember, then we would just say, and also things, um, the unknown, you know, because of course we do things all day long and sometimes we probably forget the things we've done. Uh, the wisdom for today is we don't want anything to hinder our intimacy with you, Father. Show us any areas of disobedience in our hearts so we may enjoy complete fellowship with you and the many blessings of being in your presence. What great wisdom, right? Because we want that intimacy with God. We do. We definitely do. And so we need God to show us um, the areas in our life where we're being disobedient and, you know, not having that pure heart that we need for God. So we do need to, um, you know, talk to God and, and get that great personal relationship with Jesus and just trying, like I said, trying to make your life the best that you can. We're going to make mistakes, guys. We're definitely going to, and it just happens, but... You know, that's our nature, and that's why God sent his son. But let's try our best, right? And the best way to do that is to start our day, go through our day, and end our day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. We need to read it, study it, honor it, obey it, and live by it. We also need to be praying as much as we can, spending quality alone time with Jesus, the one who came here to die for us, so he could save us from hell and destruction, because that's where we were all going. But we can have that free eternal life to heaven now, you know, eternal gift to um, eternal life in heaven. That beautiful gift of heaven, walking streets of gold and nothing but pure happiness. We can have that if we want it, but we need to be walking right with God. And God knows the true heart. So just don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Worry about what you're doing. Focus just on you. And I read these for myself to help myself out. And I hope I can help somebody else out there that needed to hear this today. So yeah, pick that up. And if you haven't read your Bible in a while, blow that dust off and read it. It's God's love story. And if you don't have a Bible... You can get one as cheap as $1.25 at the dollar store. Go get one and start reading because it will change your life. It will. And continue to rebuke the devil out because the closer we get to God, the closer God draws to us, but the more the devil tries to attack because he hates that now he no longer has us. So that's what we need to do. All right. I hope you enjoyed that, you guys. Those verses. I mean, yeah, well, a few verses, but on, um, I went back a page, sorry on under the spotlight because we are always under the spotlight with God. So let's just get our life right and be it the best that we can. All right, so now on to Jasper. We're going to put this cute outfit on him. I did it when I did his unboxing. I had some clothes that I bought for him. He had a few things with him as well. Um, Michelle sent for him for a nice box opening. And then I got him this. This is a little Carter's, and I just thought it was just adorable. I couldn't wait to put it on him. Of course, all the babies are going to share all this stuff, but first we're going to put it on him because it was meant for him. So it's got the little shorts. It's like a jean material, and it's got a tropical look on it. We want to stick with summer still because I'm so sad to see summer go. Um, so we got this beautiful tropical-looking palm trees and little sailboats and a little, like, a little house, um, like a little tent type thing. And it's just with little seashells all over it. And it's got the um, little uh, buttons that are like uh, tiger buttons, the tiger eye buttons. It's got a little tiny pocket on it. And then the little shorts have got the little drawstring in it. And they've got a couple little um, buttons that are the tiger eye buttons too. I thought that would be cute on him. And they'll just be under his onesie. It's a Carter's. So we're going to change him into that. And we'll do a spotlight on him, tell you about him. And then I want to do a tag. All right. And I think I forgot in the last one to say who that tag was by. Or maybe I did say who it was by. If I didn't, I would have had it on the screen, um, but I will say, you know, who it was by. So, anyways, this little guy, Jasper, uh, he is a sweetie pie. Uh, all my babies are sweetie pies. I really love him. He's really cute. A um, lot different in person than I thought when I seen him um, on her channel. He's got a small little head, so um, his body um, is a little bit bulkier than I would have wanted, than I wanted her to weight him up to... Um, you know, I said almost six pounds. She did great on getting him to that. I want to take a little bit out of his belly, though, just because his head is so small. Not that it's making him look weird, um, but um, in some form it is. Uh, like his tummy's just a little bit big. So I'm going to take a little bit of the stuffing out and uh, just because he does have a smaller head. And he's based off of a real baby. Um, so he just has a tinier head. So that's probably why he's more preemie, um, preemie to uh, newborn size. More newborn is what he is. 
Um, but just, yeah, that head was a little smaller than I was expecting when I seen it, but just adorable. And she did a beautiful job on his uh, painting, his hair. Um, he was bald when she was originally selling him. And I asked if she would do the black hair on him, and she did a fantastic job. So beautiful. I don't even know if I did an up-close video of him, um, but um, I think I did get him up to the camera. But I'll just bring him up here real quick just to kind of show you a little bit more of him in case I didn't. He's got the rooted eyelashes. Look at that beautiful drawn on hair in the black there. It's also painted too. It's drawn and painted. And then he's got the beautiful swirl in the back there. I'm trying to... It's so hard to do this. The beautiful swirl. And then, of course, his hands. Let me make sure I can see that. It's hard for me to see because it's the other way. There's his hand. I hope it's not blurry. The other side. She did great veining on him. Hopefully you are seeing that. The beautiful spider veins and the beautiful um, creases she did. Here's the other hand and the uh, beautiful veins there and in the hand the red tones. Love that on these babies and there's his feet. He's got beautiful feet. Look at those feet. Oh my gosh, all the creases. I love the froggy legs on him. So adorable. And the mottling that she did. And his coloration, he's like tan. Put him up next to me. He's, he's darker than I am. He's got a beautiful skin tone. I haven't went tanning this the year, you guys, uh, because of my um, hysterectomy and stuff like that. I wasn't able to this year. So I got a little bit of a tan just from sitting outside a little bit. But yeah, I didn't tan this year. But yeah, I just want to, because his body is just a little bit fuller than I would want for the size that he has. Um, and, uh, but I do like his weight. So I just, I will be taking out, um, some of the stuffing really is what I'm going to look and see what's in there and unstuff him just a little bit and probably have to take a little bit of his weight. Um, but he's still, he's a very good weight. So if I took a little bit, it's not going to hurt. All right. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that was one thing, but he is a sweet boy, but he is a, uh, a little stinker. Let me tell you, he's, um, not, he fusses his bottle. He fights his bottle. And I don't know why. I don't know why he does that. He fights. Um, I don't know if I just haven't found the right bottle for him, the right nipple. Um, but he just, yeah, he kind of fights it back and forth in and out of his mouth. And um, he does get his, his food in, though. But, uh, yeah, he fights it. He fights me a little bit. And so I need to find him a better nipple for that, for feeding. Um, he uh, definitely has to be rocked to sleep. He will not. Oh, why did I take this off of him? Oh, my goodness. I wanted to keep the onesie on. I like the onesies on these babies because of the cloth body. I don't know why I took this off. Um, he definitely wants to be rocked to sleep. Um, I, you know, cannot lay him down and just let him just go to sleep because he will just cry and cry and cry and cry and cry. I don't know if he just hasn't gotten used to me yet, uh, used to being here. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, he is definitely a baby that you have to rock to sleep. You would definitely have to rock him to sleep. And like I said, he's fighting that bottle to find a better nipple for him, I guess. So, but other than that, he's just a sweetie pie. And I don't mind. Who doesn't mind love, you know, rocking their baby? Love rocking him. And uh, then put him down. But um, kind of like chaos. And, you know, I put those two together. They sit together in the same chair. And boy, did I pick the right baby to put uh, chaos with. Because if chaos isn't crying, he's crying. <laughs> They both are criers, but chaos, he's a big time crier. Yeah, he just, that's all he does is cry. That's all he does. Unless I am coddling him, and I just think he's got some problems with digestion and stuff like that. I think he gets little tummy aches and stuff like that. Got to figure out his formula better. But we're not focusing on him right now. We're focusing on Jasper. But yeah, so his is more the nipple. He fights that nipple. He doesn't, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. So we just got to figure that out. Um, but, uh, yeah, he likes to be cuddled just like Jasper. And so I put the two of them together because Jasper needs to be next to somebody. And, um, I guess that these two get along really well. I mean, when they're together, sleeping together, then they do really good. So they were the perfect baby. I'm glad that I got, uh, the two of them together. I'm glad I got chaos, uh, to go with Jasper because, you know, and sat them together because they really sit well together. They do. So I'm happy about that. Um, and I love him. I think he's beautifully painted. He's a gorgeous baby and we love him. We really do. Um, I just, I, I'm just blown over all these babies and just, I'm beside myself having so much fun with all these babies and especially some of these reborns or real borns. I'm sorry, real borns that I got. Um, that one doesn't want to seem to button that neck. See, and this is just a, a, um, newborn size. So, he actually, she, oh, she did tell me he wears uh, some zero to three. 
So he can, and I think this is newborn. Let me see. Did I get this in a newborn for you? Um, why can't I see what this is? Carter's. Yeah, this is, oh, this is a newborn. And she did tell me he does do zero to three. So this is a newborn size, but it's very cute on him. I just can't button that top button on it, but oh my goodness, it's so precious on him. Isn't that cute? Adorable. Look at that, you guys. So cute. I'll kind of just turn him a little bit so you can see how pretty this looks on him with his dark hair. It's gorgeous on him. Oh my gosh, so boy-like. He is definitely all boy. Let me tell you that. He is all boy. And just like um, Chaos, he is a mama's boy. Yes, he needs mama to rock him. Uh, Daddy sometimes can get him to go to sleep. Daddy can, you know, sometimes do it, but he mostly wants mommy. Yeah, he, uh, Michelle must have... Uh, you know, just being around Michelle before he came here while she was doing him, you know, painting him up and everything like that. She must have really got real close to him. And he just, oh my gosh, he looks adorable in this. Makes me love this baby even more. We're just going to put the nook right there. But he does take his nook. You know, he's a uh, mag magnetic um, pacifier. Wait, let me get this right here. Wait a minute, I'm not doing it right. The magnet is down a little bit. I don't know why it's trying to pull away from there. Why is it doing that now? There we go. Um, but, you know, it takes the magnet, but we'll take it out just so you can look at him. But, yeah, he is definitely closer to Mommy. So, that is Jasper. And now we're going to do that tag. All right. I'm trying to get these done quickly. But I've been wanting to add these tags in because I didn't think tags are great because you get to know somebody so well. So, the last one I did was the teenage years. Oh, I did say it was by Suzanne's Babies. Okay. So, this one here is... Um, Let's see, it's a 15 question um, tag and it's uh, Linda's Romper Room. So I will have that up on the, uh, you know, be putting that in the description there and I will also put it up on the screen. All right, so the first one is one, number one, am I a night owl or a morning person? You guys, I am both. <laughs> I am both, I can stay up so late and still get up super early and be joyful, cheerful, and happy. I don't know why. I only need like three to four hours of sleep. And my husband can contest to that. And my husband would say, how do you sleep so little and are so happy and so much energy? I think ever since keto, that has helped. But I've always been a person that likes to get up early and enjoy it. But also stay up super late at night. I just And ever since this hysterectomy I had, I've got insomnia. So I don't, I get even less sleep now. Um, so I noticed that I might be sleeping a little later in the morning because I, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got so much insomnia. I'm, I'm up so many times, uh, but I still am both. I'm both. I'm a morning and a night owl. Number two, um, sleep alone. I do not sleep alone. <laughs> um, I sleep with my husband and of course I always have a baby in bed with me, believe it or not. And if there's a night that my husband just wants the bed just to me and him, um, I have a bed, you know, a, a crib right there and there's a baby right there. So, no, I do not sleep alone. Um, our dog does not sleep with us. Our dog does sleep in a kennel because uh, from the very beginning was told that she has severe anxiety so that she should have some separation from us. So, at night, she goes in a crate um, in my other room um, that I have for my, uh, you know, for like all my doing my nails and all that and all my clothes and everything and the baby stuff in there, um, the baby clothes. But anyways, uh, my husband, I sleep with my husband and um, a baby. So, yeah, no, I do not sleep alone. Three, sandals or tennis shoes? Definitely sandals. I'm definitely a sandals person. I love sandals. I love any type of sandal. Um, tennis shoes, just, you know, I like the look of a tennis shoe, but sandals all the way with me. Sandals all the way. Number four, socks or barefoot? And that was where I was going to say, or barefoot. I prefer to be barefoot. Of course, you have to wear shoes when you go out, but if I could, I would never wear shoes. I would be barefoot just constantly, even outside. I love to be barefoot. But I learned a lesson, uh, hurt myself one time, um, well, a few times, one time pretty bad. I cut my foot pretty bad and um, also I'd stubbed my toe really, really bad. But I had hurt my foot really bad with a uh, rusty nail. And um, actually it was a rake. I had stepped on a uh, rusty rake and um, went there and into my leg too. So I had to have stitches. But yeah, I learned my lesson from there, not to walk outside barefoot. But I am a barefoot person all the way. Number five, um, beach or mountains? Um, I would say the mountains. The mountains are just so beautiful. So I would definitely say I would lean more towards the mountains. 
six um casseroles or entrees um boy growing up my mom made tons of casseroles so i'd say casseroles i do really like a good casserole it's got that uh that definitely that feel of that um uh, what am i trying to say just a comfort food you know and easy to put together but now doing keto i've done casseroles keto style but um i would say casseroles entrees are great too but casseroles for me um, seven, mountains or prairies? Mountains again, for me. Eight, historical cities, small towns, or modern cities? I would say modern cities. Um, yeah. I mean, I love historical places and cities like that, but for me, it'd be modern cities. Always been in the modern cities. Sometimes small towns, but mostly modern cities. Number nine, TV shows, uh, TV show uh, series or movies, movies, big time lover of movies. But the TV show I loved was Sons of Anarchy. And we actually got to meet Charlie Hunnam and get a photo op with him and um, got to meet him, get autographs and all that, along with Sylvester Stallone. Um, and I can't wait to watch the series on that, on the Stallone family. But that would be the series I really liked was that. But other than that, um, uh, for the series. TV shows, not really big into that. I was when I was a kid. I was more into TV shows when I was a kid, but now it's movies. Movies, movies, movies. Uh, popcorn or candy? I would say popcorn, even though I don't eat popcorn because I'm a, a key, you know, on ketogenic diet. Uh, but popcorn for me, I'm more of a salty person than, than sugar. I have my certain candies I like, but popcorn for me. Um, salty all the way. 11. Airplanes or cars? Um, obviously I travel more in cars, but I love airplanes. If I had my choice when we go on vacation to always fly, and this is funny, you guys, I said I would never fly. I was so afraid. I never wanted to fly. I met my husband in 2011. In 2012, when we got married, he took me away to Laughlin, Nevada, and we got to also go to, um, uh, Sin City. <laughs> and, um, you know, just, we flew there and I didn't know until the last minute that I was flying. I was so scared to death and the pilot uh, came and talked to me and said that all the way there is great weather. We got married in July, July 7th of 2012. So it was good weather. So good weather all the way there. And so I was good. And coming back, we had severe weather, but I don't know why I did okay. I guess the bumpiness to me felt like it was in a car and it was nighttime. So I couldn't see anything anyways. So just being up that high, like it it's, doesn't look real. Nothing looks real. Um, and I thought I'd be claustrophobic, but airplane all the way for me. I'd rather travel in an airplane to places, but um, yeah, airplanes for me. Believe it or not, because I was never a person that liked airplanes. I still get scared when I get on them, but I love them. Only way I'd want to travel. Number 12, soda or honey, sugar, iced tea. I'm an iced tea person. I'd rather have iced tea. Um, I do drink soda, uh, very, very little, and it's diet all the time, obviously, uh, because I'm on the ketogenic diet again, so I don't drink that I like the soda waters, but um, iced tea. I uh, love iced tea and I can still make it and just do it with the uh, stevia. I love iced tea. 13, sailboat or speedboat? I would say sailboat because I'm a little bit afraid. I'm afraid of water. I can swim fine, but I'm very afraid of water. Um, I don't know, I, I get afraid of sharks. I had never seen the ocean. My husband took me to California in December for my birthday to meet Sylvester Stallone. Wow, you guys, I met the legendary Stallone. And I got to do a photo, I mean, a meet and greet. I got to meet him, talk to him, give him a kiss on the cheek, get his autograph, all that. But I got to see the ocean for the first time and I was overwhelmed. When I see, uh, you know, the ocean, it's just so big, you can't see to the other side. I've seen lakes like that um, here in Minnesota because we're, you know, known for our 10,000 lakes. Uh, we have some, um, you know, big lakes um, that are ginormous and you can't see to the other side. And we used to go camping with my uncle and he would, on his, his speedboat, be wanting to pull us on the, you know, the wraps and all that, the tubing. And I would be screaming to stop and I'd fall off. And I'm so scared I want him to come back and get me right away because I'm afraid a shark's going to get me. So I wouldn't even go into the ocean. I put my feet in it when we were in California. It was very cold because we were in there in December. So the water wasn't, and of course, California's warm, but it was cold during that time. It would have been the coldest time. It was in the 50s, I think, for the highs during the day, 50s or 60s, and it was cold in the evening. Um, warmer than here, though, in December. <laughs> But um, it was just overwhelming to see the ocean. It was beautiful, but I wouldn't want to swim in it, just afraid that a shark's going to get me. I guess that's what it is, but I'm afraid of water. So I'd say a sailboat because it's just nice and calm. It's not speeding. I'm not afraid of it getting tipped over. So I'd say sailboats. If I had to go on either or, I'd say sailboat. 
Um, number 14, live out west or down south? I would say down south. I, you know, I like the simple life. Um, I don't like the, the, even though that's where I've always lived, is always in, you know, cities that are just loud and obnoxious and all of that. Um, but down south, I just think just being in the south over the west would just be nicer to me. I think a lot of people are really nice in the south, although I wouldn't probably like the weather. But, um, you know, I love hot. I love summer. I love it. I love it so much. But um, in the south would be so much hotter. But I would, if I had to pick out of the two, I'd say down south. 15, watch movies at home or the theater? Uh, mostly at home. Definitely at home. I do love going to the movies. Definitely, definitely love going to the movies. Um, but I, uh, was that two? I hope I didn't reread that, that same one. Okay, no, that was different. Okay. I don't know if this was part two of that. I don't know. But no, I, part two might be of the other one. Um, but anyways, yeah, I, I definitely am a movies at home. My husband and I, we watched, since we've been together, basically we've watched a movie every single night since the day we got together and just recently had to stop doing that just because of uh, hours now, work and all that. Um, so we can't really stay up. So we just do it on a Friday and Saturday. But definitely I'd rather see a good movie at home. I'd wait for it and want to see it at home. Unless it's super good. Like I love seeing The Wizard of Oz out um you know on the big screen um just really good movies i like to see it out but i would prefer movies at home so that's that i hope you guys enjoyed that definitely um try that tray uh tag out it's so fun to do tags because people get to know other people i didn't give him his, his uh, elephant um get to give you um you know you get to know a person through a tag so they're really fun to do and i hope this video wasn't too long um we'll let uh jasper give you guys a kiss now Mwah. He loves his, he loves God. He loves his mommy very much, mommy and daddy. And then um, he loves all his aunties and uncles, grandma and grandpas out there, and all of his cousins. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long, like I said, and I hope you enjoy this outfit on him. Man, it just looks so good. It just makes me love him even more now. Now I'm going to want to cuddle him more because it's so cute on him. All right. Uh, I'm going to blow you out a kiss. Mwah. I love you guys too. But remember, God loves you the most. He loves you the most. And we need to make sure that we know that we are sinners and we have to um, definitely uh, try to, you know, repent of our sins and get right with God. Other than that, everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. All right. Let me show you Jasper now um, up close. I did show um, coming up to the camera um, with him when I got him, but I just want to show you like this. I just think it's so much better. So first we'll look at his beautiful face. Look at that face. And he, this is based off a real baby. Remember that. This is the Evelyn sculpt um, by Bountiful Babies based off a real, uh, real born baby. And he is gorgeous. And I believe it was based off a girl, but I have it as a boy. And there's the beautiful hair that I asked her to do. It was bald, but she did the hair uh, drawn and painted. So beautiful. She did a gorgeous job. I just love the dark hair. Love the dark hair on him. And then we'll show you uh, the mottling that she did and the painting. So beautiful. There's the nails. Not the tips done, just the nails. And some babies, I mean, that just looks so good. You got to see the mottling there. And then his other hand. You see the veining there, the nice little spider veins she did. And the nails there and the hand. She did a great job on him. Michelle's pretty good. And there's mottling there. Veining. The bottom of the feet and the toes. So pretty. He's got a really pretty skin tone. Like I was saying, hopefully I can get this close. You can see the veining and mottling in there. Just gorgeous. Just stunning. He's full limbs. Uh, but I just wanted to show each baby just a little bit, you know, up closer with them. So that you guys can, you know, enjoy them a little bit better. Really getting to see how beautiful they are. He does have the rooted eyelashes drawn on hair. Um, doesn't have the eyebrows, but I can do that. Um, <clears throat> she just didn't want to do the eyebrows. She was a little bit afraid. She said because eyebrows can make or break, you know, a baby. Um, so, but he doesn't really need them. He looks good without them. But I would like to see some black ones on him. So I can either draw it on myself uh, once I learn how to do it or... Um, root. I can root some eyebrows on him too if I wanted to, but I think I would like him drawn on. So yeah, she was just a little afraid to do that, but right now he's perfect just the way he is. So yeah, just wanted to add this into his video.